ADIX app home screen. On the ADIX home screen, the current blood glucose level is displayed, along with the time when this reading was recorded. The arrows signify the anticipated direction of changes in the blood glucose trend. If you choose any point on the curve, it will display the date and time of that reading, as well as any other recorded events, such as insulin doses, meals, blood sugar test, others. Moreover, you can also check the remaining sensor lifespan. You can also display the blood sugar trend over different time intervals, 6 hours, 12 hours, and 24 hours. By rotating your mobile device, the blood glucose curve will be displayed in portrait mode. You will also observe a shaded green area, this representing your target range, and we will explain how to configure it. ADIX readings are updated every 5 minutes. Generally, there are three colors to represent them. Green color indicates that the readings are within the desired safe range. Yellow will represent the readings whenever they exceed the predefined maximum safe range. Red color in the event where the readings fall below the minimum safe range threshold. In summary, when the readings remain within the target range, they will appear in green. If they exceed the target range, they will change to yellow. And if they fall below the target range, they will switch to red. The directional arrows also have four different cases to show the expected glucose trend and its direction. For instance, a horizontal arrow implies that blood sugar is relatively stable and is anticipated to remain at nearly the same value, regardless of whether it's high or low. This means that it may indicate stability at high glucose levels or at a low sugar level as well. A single 45 degree downward arrow suggests a gradual glucose decrease slowly falling. And if single 90 degree downward arrow means blood glucose is falling. However, if double 90 degree downward arrow, this indicates a rapid drop in glucose levels rapidly falling. Likewise, a 45 degree upward arrow means slowly rising. While a 90 degree upward arrow indicates increase rising, and if double arrow, it means glucose rapidly rising. As previously mentioned, we have the ability to find the desired target range. And we can also adjust its alerts as follows. Tap on Personal Settings. Then select Alert Settings. Here, we have three main types of alerts. First, Common Alerts refer to the general alerts. Next, Urgent Low Blood Glucose Alert. This alert is triggered when blood sugar levels fall dangerously low. Lastly, system alerts, which pertain to the system itself. For the common alerts, it has four different types. One, low glucose alert. We can enable or disable this alert, and you can set the minimum allowable blood sugar level by moving the slider left or right. This value represents the lower threshold of the target range. If at any point in time the glucose readings fall below this value, the glucose trend will turn to red and the system will promptly activate the low glucose alarm. 2. High glucose alert, which is the target range high threshold. Similarly, we can enable or disable this alert. You can set the maximum allowable value in the same way. And this alert will be triggered if blood sugar rises above this value. 3. Glucose rising fast. We can only enable or disable this alert. As the application activates this alert if blood sugar increases at a rate of 2 mg per deciliter per minute. Glucose falling fast. 
and it will be triggered if blood sugar decreases at a rate of 2 mg per deciliter per minute. We can also enable or disable it only. Note, all four alerts can be configured to provide sound and vibration, sound only, or vibration only. You can also control the alert repetition frequency every 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, or 60 minutes. The second type of alerts is the critical low blood glucose alert. And for this type of alert, you cannot change its value. It would trigger if blood sugar drops below 54 milligrams per deciliter. We can only enable or disable it. And you can control the alert method and alert frequency. The last type of alert, which is triggered if the transmitter signal is lost, you can also enable or disable it and control its method and repetition. This alert occurs when the mobile device with the application is approximately 10 meters away from the sensor. If this happens, the transmitter stores all previous readings, and when it automatically reestablishes the connection with your mobile device, it will transfer all previous readings. This ensures that all readings are preserved, even if the mobile device is away from the sensor for long durations during the sensor's lifespan. Note, ensure that the notifications for the application are enabled and that it is listed among the Allow Do Not Disturb apps. From your mobile settings, tap on Notifications, search for the application and select ADEX. Ensure that all notifications are allowed. Additionally, select Focus, Do Not Disturb, Apps, and make sure ADEX is in the list of apps if not. Then, add apps and mark ADEX app done. This video serves to provide insights into the functionality of the ADEX continuous glucose monitoring system. It is essential not to disregard any signs or symptoms associated with high or low glucose levels. In the event that your glucose alerts and sensor glucose readings do not align with your expected symptoms, it is strongly recommended to verify your glucose levels using a standard blood glucose meter. Consult with your healthcare provider for guidance on diabetes management and treatment. Diabetes Cloud. Live with freedom.